Hey, you're watching Gabriel Alexander Review. Today we're doing a mic review. We're doing some serious low end theory today. So we are reviewing the Stage Right by Monoprice Small Diaphragm Condenser Pair. I'm sure it has a model number, but I don't know what it is. For the price of $44, you get this cute case here. Inside of that case, you get two of these things, along with cardioid heads, omni heads, stand clips, and little foamy things. Now, the quality of this whole situation here is not good at all. I do appreciate that it's small, um, because check this out. Probably one of the closest competitors here for like 10 times the price listing today. Oh, that's what you get with the Rode NT5 pair. And that pair does not come with Omni heads. You have to like get them separately. I mean, that is seriously oversized. It's like something drill would come in. Um, but the quality of the mic and the stand clip, no complaints at all. Uh, I'm doing spoken word into it right now. I'm not using the windscreen. Um, but even with the windscreen, this whole style of mic is not something that you'd probably use for spoken, wo spoken word or close mic'd vocals. You might use them for choirs, but... This is something you're probably going to use more for instruments. Um, and let's see, is it worth 22 bucks a mic, 11 bucks a capsule? Let's find out. Uh, you might use one of these for percussion. Let's see. How do you think that sounds? Could you use it? I don't know. <laughs> That's too loud. Uh, let's try this little deal here. Okay, um, so something I like about this style of mic in particular, I mean, I wouldn't use them for everything, but uh, I like pencil mic, small diaphragm condensers, because um, they're very hi-fi sounding and they have a way of kind of erasing the room if they have a, a cardioid head. Uh, with a small diaphragm condenser, you get a lot more of the room sound, and if you want something more up close and personal, these things usually kind of do it. Um, so for that reason, I often like them for acoustic guitar. So, like, I like, uh, you know, the Rode for acoustic guitar. Let's see if I like this one here for acoustic guitar. Okay, here we go. Let's point it um, to around where the neck meets the body. down by the bridge or if I pick up here or let's see my fingers all right so I feel that uh, for that task it's a little excessively bright and harsh. Probably the same thing with the hi-hat tambourine, but is there something that this might be useful for? Yeah, absolutely. I'll show you what. Ukulele. I think ukulele is a little bit difficult to record. They can be kind of muddy and lacking in definition, note separation, that sort of thing. Put a really bright mic on a uke. Let's see what we think of it. Okay, uh, you get the idea? Like, I think I might like that more than several more expensive mics that I've got. And I'm sure there are other things that it would, you know, really excel at. 
Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it sounded good on classical guitar. I haven't tried it on that, but same thing. Classical guitar can be really woolly sounding and really hard to get a nice articulate sound out of that works in a mix and stuff. And I think something like this might do it. And um, let's take a look at... There's nothing about it that really feels super cheap or something. I think that uh, the look they're going for is looks somewhat uh, <laughs> like whatever the popular AKG model is. Um, and I feel like Bayer Dynamic or something might have some that kind of look like this with the same sort of uh, same sort of capsule look and whatnot. Um, but Yes, I would recommend that you get yourself a pair of these. If you don't like them, it's 44 bucks, but I'm sure you'll find something like the ukulele that they are just the ticket for. All right.